Hello, fairy finders and fairy seekers. Welcome to Fairy Quest. Today's video is a little bit different. If you've followed my channel, you know that I have been photographing fairies since about 2016. What did I do before then? Well, starting in about 2004, I was an amateur ghost hunter, I guess you could say. And I had started a website called Night Watchman Chronicles. Night Watchman Chronicles went on for about 14 years and then we shut it down and I replaced it with Fairy Quest. However, I have so much material from Night Watchman Chronicles that I thought it might be kind of fun to throw a bit in here and there amongst the fairy fun. Why not, right? So this video is for a location that my husband and I went to in 2005. It's called Hazel Green Cemetery and it is in Ackley, Iowa. And I'll start out giving you some history of this location and the haunted story that drew us here. Spoiler alert, we have some video footage within this video that shows we were able to actually capture that haunted story and a little bit extra. So let's get going and I hope you enjoy. Hazel Green is a beautiful cemetery tucked away on a dead end road in what almost seems like the middle of nowhere. Though it's out of the way, it is still used for burials even today. Many of the stones in this old cemetery are early 1800s. There is a gazebo at one end of the cemetery, and it's this gazebo that is the haunted attraction. Interestingly, the locals have either heard the story, but have no idea where it originated from, or they've not heard the story at all. You would think the closer that you live, the more you would know. Not the case here. There's actually more information online than there is locally. Hazel Green is also known for EVPs, which we have some of those as well, orb photos, we have some of those, loud banging noises, and eerie howling. Not sure if we caught those. I can say that the eerie howling, it's the first and only time that my husband and I ever ran or hopped in our car and left a location. It was quite creepy and since this cemetery is surrounded on three sides with trees, quite dense trees, leaving just felt like the right thing to do. Where there are orbs and EVPs, there are usually apparitions. My husband and I never came across any apparitions except for one, and that was the main apparition that the haunted story for this location came from and it is about a woman who sits on the gazebo in a rocking chair rocking a baby though no one knows why or when it began. Also note that the gazebo does not have a rocking chair on it but the rocking chair manifests with the woman. So now we're going to take a look at the live footage which was taken with a Sony camera using night shot. Please don't ask me what make and model. I don't remember, it was back in 2005. Anyway, I want you to pay attention to the space right above the stairs on the gazebo and then also to the right of the gazebo because there's something else there that we discovered that we still don't know what it is. Anyway, afterwards, we will examine what we captured a little more closely. Your camera's open immensely. What's the S in the I? Super night shot. Okay. Does anybody see? Thank you. 
So I'm sure that you noticed that the video is not the greatest quality and it's also a very light gray. Kind of difficult to see when you're looking at whites, but if you watch that video, you will actually see the rocker kind of form on the gazebo. You'll see the rocker arms that are touching the floor. My husband and I, neither one of us saw this taking place even though we were actually standing right behind the camera and looking either in the camera view screen or at the gazebo itself. Once we went home and went through the footage is when we saw the video that you just saw. And using Photoshop, I cropped the image, and this was an, a very old version of Photoshop compared to what we have now. I cropped the image so that we would be able to see it more clearly. I also somehow enhanced the picture. Couldn't tell you how. I just kind of played around with things until I could see things a little bit better. So there was probably somebody who knew Photoshop better than I did, but I didn't know who that might be. So this is what we ended up with. This picture is cropped from the one that you just saw and enlarged so that we can see a little more detail here. And obviously there are rocker arms on the surface of the gazebo above the steps. And we can also see a head above the back railing of this gazebo. I did not change the coloring of the rocker arms or the head. That just happened as I was playing around and lightening things and darkening them and doing whatever I did that I didn't know what I was doing. So this was the result. And it is my opinion that we did capture the woman in the rocking chair on the gazebo, the haunted story for Hazel Green Cemetery. We don't see the baby, but we do see at least a rocking chair and possibly the head of a woman. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Now here was the other odd thing on that video and it was behind and to the right of the gazebo and you can see it kind of moving forward a little bit in the video. And we had no idea obviously what it was. We did not see it while we were filming but when we got home and we saw this footage, had no idea what this was. So like I did with the gazebo, I did some things in Photoshop to enlarge and try to enhance. And this was the result. Now, if you look at this, it looks like a face. We can see the eyes are darker. We can see the nose, odd cheekbones, mouth, very odd shaped chin. So perhaps this was the head of a person. Now first thought for most people is that maybe this was an entity with evil intentions. What runs through my mind is that perhaps this is a guide coming to try to convince the woman on the gazebo that it is time to move forward, time to move into the light, not to remain with the rocking chair, the gazebo, and the baby. That is my thinking, but again, I don't know this for sure. I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments as well. So as you can see in a daylight photo here, there is no rocking chair on this gazebo. There is a bench that goes all the way along the one railing where my husband is facing, but no rocking chair. And in full disclosure, the night that we heard the howling and decided to leave, we had gone there a little bit before dark. And as we were walking around the gazebo, we were smelling a very bad dead meat smell as though there had been a creature who had died and we looked all around the gazebo kind of under where we could see was shining our flashlights and along the woods but we were not able to see anything so when it got dark that's when we heard the howling 
the night that we took the video that showed the woman on the gazebo, we did not experience any odd smell or anything strange, no howling, no nothing that night. Many years have passed by since we took this video. And to date, we have not heard of anyone else who has actually captured anything at Hazel Green Cemetery like this. So if anyone's had any experiences at the Hazel Green Cemetery in Ackley, Iowa, let us know in the comments and we'd love to compare notes. We have some EVPs for this location that perhaps we'll make a video on later on. We'll see what happens with that, but I thought you might enjoy this little piece of history, at least it's history for us, and to see what was happening before fairy photographing began. One last thing before I end this video, maybe, just maybe, you'd like to visit Hazel Green Cemetery yourself in Ackley, Iowa, if you ever get the chance. So here's the directions. From within Iowa Falls, Iowa, follow East Roxylvania Avenue, also known as D15 East, out of town to U Avenue and make a right south. This is a long stretch. Just keep going until you see U Avenue. Travel U Avenue until you see 155th Street, 155 Street, and make a right. You'll be going west. This is a dead end road and Hazel Green Cemetery entrances, which there are two, are on your left before you get to the curve in the road. In the summer months, the entrances can be hard to see due to overgrowth. And if it has rained, please be especially careful as the dirt road becomes very greasy, very slippery. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe if you're not already and don't forget to hit the like. See you later.